Hi, I'm Michael Bodnick, the Minister of Music and Director of Operations here at St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church, the Church on the Circle in Sarasota, Florida. For over 55 years, St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church has been a bright light in our Sarasota community, and technology now allows us to reach an even wider group of people throughout the year. We are a place of meaningful worship, inspiring music, engaging educational opportunities, and impactful community service. We are reaching out to you today because our music ministry would like to set before you an exciting new project, the installation of a world-class pipe organ here in our sanctuary. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, isn't it exciting? the possibility that in this beautiful worship space, we might have a custom-built organ. And this is actually the fruition of two years of hard work by Michael Bodnick, our Minister of Music, and by Dr. John Benke, our organ consultant. They have spent countless hours assessing the needs of the congregation, but also being in discussion and conversation with various potential organ builders until they found just the right one to fit our needs. And they've been joined in that task by our organ task force made up of members of the congregation and to all those folks, I heartfelt, heartfelt thanks. But, but this project is part of multiple projects, visions, dreams and plans that we have for the future of St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church. Our past and our present are typified by excellence and so must our future be. And we've shared with you countless examples of what we're doing, whether it's in Christian education, in worship enrichment, or in community service ministry, where this congregation grows in faith, but also transforms the lives of others in our wider community. And this organ project fits into those plans like a hand into a glove. It is an exciting future, and I invite you to be part of it. We hear time and again from visitors and our new members that what draws them first into St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church is the excellent preaching and the inspiring music. An essential component of our Lutheran tradition is that music. Martin Luther said it best, quote, next to the word of God, music deserves the highest praise. As we look to the church on the circle's future, we want to invest in an enhanced music program a new pipe organ is part of this vision. It will serve us in supporting our worship services and music ensembles all year long, and it will bring national and international attention to our church through a variety of year-round programming. Installing an instrument of this caliber with a 100 plus year lifespan makes a clear statement that we believe St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church will be a strong, uplifting presence in our community for many decades to come. The Lutheran Church is blessed with a varied and rich musical heritage we want to preserve and promote. Not only will this new instrument support and enhance our worship services, we hope it will inspire future generations of musicians in addition to helping support programming and long-term maintenance of the instrument, our organ fund will help to support an annual scholarship competition for young musicians drawing national and international attention to St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church. These young musicians will become future musical leaders. We also hope organ departments from nearby colleges and universities might utilize the organ for teaching and concerts. In 2006, due to a lightning strike, the church's electronic organ needed to be replaced. An organ committee was formed, and through the principal generosity of our beloved Virginia Toolman, a new Allen digital organ was purchased for the sanctuary. This organ makes sounds digitally using computers and speakers. If you open the back of our instrument, you would notice a similarity with the backs of your smartphones or tablet devices. And just as these electronic devices have timelines, so does a digital organ. 
If you think about your cell phone, how long do you keep it before it needs to be replaced or upgraded? Three, four, maybe five years? Our organ, with the same type of technology, is now almost 17 years old. Hi, my name's John Benke. Uh, for over two years, I've worked with Michael Botnick as the organ consultant, helping to assess the church's musical needs and identify potential organ builders that would be a good fit for St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church. On May 3rd of 2021, I met with council members and music ministry participants to talk about the possibility of a new pipe organ. From that meeting, criteria was established uh, that each organ builder could use and should fulfill for us. Uh, these were, number one, that the organ should be placed in the front of the sanctuary to utilize the best acoustics in the room. Number two, that the cross needed to remain absolutely central and not be obscured. And number three, as much of the beautiful coral stone wall needs to be maintained. We received proposals from builders in both the United States and in Europe. From these, we chose three designs and they were presented to the organ task force uh, that was formed by the church council. Each proposal varied in size, uh, price, and installation time. When the task force convened, we looked at three proposals through a variety of lenses. The proposal's financial feasibility, did the builder's design fit with the church's current look and feel? Was the timeline to installation realistic for our needs? There was a clear top choice, and after a site visit to hear an instrument by the builder, that proposal was put forward to church council as a recommendation by the task force. We are pleased to present to you the proposed sanctuary pipe organ for St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church by the Schantz Organ Company of Oroville, Ohio. Schantz is a nationally and internationally known builder of organs. This year, the family-owned company celebrated its 150th anniversary. We hope that you'll agree that the proposed design will be a truly beautiful addition to our sanctuary and just wait until you hear it. The proposal calls for three divisions of pipe work, a total of 29 stops and over 2,000 pipes to be installed on the sanctuary wall behind the altar to the left and right of the cross. As you'll see, the majority of the pipework is built using cantilevers, which will allow the exits at both sides of the altar to be maintained with little or no renovation work needed on the altar. The church's original structural engineers were contacted to assure us the foundation could support the weight of this new instrument. Many of you will remember that Art and Helen Koo very generously donated several ranks of actual pipework to be installed at the rear of the sanctuary in 2007. These pipes are actual pipework that utilize wind pressure to create sound, and they are an incredible gift to the church. It was very important to us that this gift be maintained and preserved in the new instrument. The builder will take these pipes back to Ohio to clean and restore them, and they will be incorporated into the new instrument, the antiphonal division of the proposed organ. The beautiful antiphonal trumpets that reach out horizontally into the sanctuary will also be maintained. We are forever grateful to Art and Helen for this lasting legacy they have given to St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church. This instrument will be a musical legacy to St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church. There are pipe organs in churches, concert halls, and civic centers across the United States and Europe that are hundreds and hundreds of years old. It's notable that our chosen organ company, Chance Organ Builders, has instruments across the country that are over a century old and still leading worship and concerts. The craftsmanship of these instruments lasts for generations. Every part of the instrument is handmade, from the wood carvings of the casework to the metal casting of each and every pipe. Our organ will be in this church as long as St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church is here.
we are seeking to raise $1.5 million for our Oregon project. This includes the construction and installation of the custom-built instrument by Shams, and it also includes the creation of an organ fund, which will be utilized to help the church with the care of the instrument going forward, and will also serve as a fund to be able to help support programming involving the instrument. To date, I am thrilled to announce that we have received gifts and pledges in the amount of $1 million. We are sincerely thankful for the generosity of those who have stepped forward, but we need everyone's help to reach our goal. This is an instrument that will be a musical calling card for the church, not just here in Sarasota, but around the country and likely around the world. But most importantly, it is your instrument and any gift that you can make to help us reach our goal would be awesome. We hope that you will consider participating in our sponsored a pipe program to help make this a reality. If you are able to help support the project in a larger way, there are sponsorship opportunities available for various parts of the organ. And we would always be sincerely grateful for contributions to the organ fund, helping to ensure the instrument's long-term care and maintenance. And I cannot wait for the day when Michael pulls out all the stops. I will be hosting a series of workshops, both in person and online. We invite you to attend one or several of these to learn more about the project and ask any questions that you might have. The dates and times for these will be published in the Sunday Bulletin and in Connections, our electronic newsletter. Feel free to call the office with any questions about these Q&A events that you may have. So, what are the next steps? Based on the pledges and contributions received to date, the SAKLC Finance Committee felt comfortable with the Oregon Project moving forward to Church Council. On June 19th, Church Council voted unanimously to send the project to a special congressional meeting for a vote because of the magnitude of the project. This important meeting will be held on Sunday, July 30th, immediately following the worship service around 11.15 a.m. We hope you'll attend either in person or on Zoom. More information will be circulated in the weekend announcements and through connections. If the vote is in favor of the instrument, we'll sign the contract with the Chance Organ Company and begin the fundraising campaign for the balance of the project. Construction of this organ and its over 2,000 custom pipes will begin in the fall. Installation is anticipated in 24 to 26 months. And so, you have heard a lot about this exciting project. Now I hope you'll be part of the question and answer sessions so that you can learn even more about the plans for this incredible project of ours, this incredible project of yours. But of course, the last word has to go to scripture. Here we hear the words of Psalm 150. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise God with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so I hope that you with us and with Martin Luther who said that in music we pray twice. I hope you'll be part of this exciting project.